Hey everyone, welcome back to a new Wizard 101 video. I know you're probably surprised by seeing this one from me, and that is a PvP video. I mean, this isn't actually PvP, this is just a gear setup, but it is going to lead into some sort of PvP, you know, in the future from this channel. So, I am planning on doing tournaments with this gear. And I've already used this gear to do, like, house PvP in live streams before. Maybe you guys have been in those streams. And, uh, I've just been kind of using the gear for that. I'm planning on doing tournaments at some point, uh, not sure when yet, but I'm not going to be doing ranked. Ranked is just, I don't know, I don't feel like ranked is fun for me, especially on a storm. I wouldn't want to do it on a storm anyway, but I'm not looking at ranked. I'm going to be looking at tournaments, maybe get some tournament videos up on my channel uh, for this year or something like that, but we're going to be looking at the stats that I've almost completed. There's a couple things I'm still missing, which I'll talk about in this video, but we're close. We're close to being done with my 125 storm, so this is going to be the gear setup for PvP here. And I'm in the same place that I did my original 125 storm setup, which was the PvE gear, Kabbalist gear, I think, and all that. So let's take a look at what we have. So to start things off, we got 5,100 health. I'm just happy that Storm can get over 5,000 health now. And I may have had, I don't know, I don't think I ever had over 5,000 health. I think at 120, I was close, but now at 125 with the new gear, you're able to get over 5,000. Uh, pretty easily now with jewels and stuff too i mean you're probably gonna need jewels to get this much but at least we can uh, we can say we have over 5,000 health that's something that storm hasn't had for a while unless you had really specific gear but 5,000 health uh 154 damage this is the one that i'm excited for uh now in the game with cabal's gear and the wands and stuff you can just get insane damage i think the highest damage you can get is like 170 something and 154 for PvP with good stats, like overall, is insane. So I'm happy to have 154 damage. I'll be using that. And then 51 resist across the board. I've also got some jewels to reduce storm damage. But this is just temporary until I can replace it with other jewels, which uh, I'll talk about a little bit later once we get there. But this is where I'm at with damage. Resist is good. It'll keep me alive to be able to actually use this damage and attack. And, uh,. 44% accuracy. This is something that I decided to go with just because I had a power pip jewel uh, socketed and I'm like, you know what? I have like over 100% power pip. I don't need this jewel that gives me 10% when I'm already like way over 100%. So I decided to go for accuracy. The best accuracy jewels you can get now is 12%. It basically ends up with well over 100% accuracy on all my storm spells. And it also just helps you to not fizzle if they put a smoke screen on you. You're going to want high accuracy for PvP. So I like having that much accuracy for my storm. Moving on to the other page, we've got the critical here. This is actually more critical than I've had in the past on PvP gear. And that's just because the, the new gear gives more critical and the wand gives critical, which we'll look at. I've also got a new amulet, which uh, I feel like is going to be useful uh, for PvP. That's the whole reason that I delayed making this video was because I needed that uh, amulet so we'll talk about that but block I don't care about block you know block is not as relevant in PvP now critical is not as relevant either but that's why I only have 46% you see on my uh, PvE sets I go for 100% critical for PvP no I don't and you don't need 100% critical that's uh, it doesn't really help you because it's not double the damage anymore so not as relevant but I do have some uh, block yeah I'm not gonna be blocking anything <laughs> it's not that important that's why I have the resist. Uh, 41 armor piercing. This is something that is also a really good stat to go for in PvP just because, I mean, you need it. You're going to need high uh, pierce. So I've got pieces of gear that all add to that pierce count and get it up to 41%, which I feel like is really good. 15% resist to stun. This could be higher, and I will show you where I can get higher stats here. I could get this up to 25%. That means I would be stun resisting like one-fourth of the time. That's decent. That's pretty good. That could help you in certain situations, especially like quick match when people always stun. They stun like first turn. Say I don't get stunned. That's really nice. So that could come in handy at some point. And uh, a little bit of healing, not too much. It's not important. Uh, pip conversion, a little bit of that from the wand. And then uh, power pip. This is where I decided to switch the jewel because I have 99% power pip. I don't need a jewel that gets me up to like 109%. That's not worth it so I decided to go for accuracy instead 7% shadow pip from the new Cabal's gear and Malister gear so 
that's where we're at in all the stats. Let's see what gear we're actually using for all this. So, obviously, I'm going to be using Malastare gear. Malastare uh, hat. Some people would argue that, you know, you should use the Cabal's hat, which I could. I could use the Cabal's hat. Let's see what the gear would look like if I had this. Cabal's hat, I would have uh, insane damage, 162 damage. And my resist goes down by 10%. That's actually kind of a lot. I would get, what else? Less pierced by a little bit. That's not that bad. And I would get 100% power pip. 9% shadow pip. That's actually crazy. Man. 9%? Hmm, I didn't. I forget that the Cabal is... Yeah, it gives you 4%. So, I mean, not that bad of stat change here. I even have more health with this. So, this is an option. I could switch to this. I could use this. I would get 10% less resist, but that's the only major thing I can see from using this gear. A little bit of pierce, uh, you know, 2% pierce less, but otherwise, I feel like this is actually good. Maybe I maybe I should use this instead of mouse right now. That's actually really good. Because then I would have 162 damage. That's crazy. I can't I just can't believe we're at a place in the game where people can use stats and gear that give over 150 damage with good overall stats. Because I would consider these to be decent overall stats. You know what? I would probably use this gear in like a quick match where I just go all out for damage. I don't care too much about resist and the accuracy is there. I would still have some pierce. Maybe I would use this for quick match. So this is an option. I don't know. We will see. But this is definitely a good option for that. But Malastare just gives me... I guess the only thing it really gives me is that extra 10% for resist. If this gave resist, it would be the most overpowered thing in the game. It already kind of is overpowered with the damage. But yeah, maybe... It, yeah, so these are both options. These are both good options to use for the hat. Cabalist or Malastare. Your pick. Uh, I always use the Malastare robe. I think this is the best thing for Storm in the game. It's just the Malastare robe. It's just too good. You can't pass it up. There's nothing else that's even close. So that is what I use all the time. Every set. Uh, Cabalist for the boots also good you're gonna want to use these and uh, I mean there's other options this one gives does it no these these are actually not as good anymore I, they are good for resist though but I, don't know, I just like they don't give I think they give a little bit of crit I don't know I like these you're gonna want cabals to use for your boots for PvP now people just I, I'm pretty sure all storms are gonna be using that at 125 it's just some of the best gear that you can get so, and then you can kind of make up for the other stats like Power Pip, which I've done with other pieces of gear. So, yeah, it works out. Uh, you're going to want to use the new revered weapons. These are the craftable ones. I've got it socketed with both the stun resist jewels. So, these are the best right now. Just super high damage. I mean, 20% damage from a wand. That's a lot. It also gives pierce. It also gives crit. It gives even that pip conversion there. So, you're going to want to use these. This is the, the best wand for pvp i'm sure everyone that's max level is using these for the fame this is the one that actually got um upgraded with jewels recently and i put in the 12 percent uh, accuracy jewel there i've had the six percent pierce jewels and then i also have 120 health i had one 120 health jewel in my entire uh, experience i i don't know i got one drop from my entire time in imperia and i decided to put it on this because I actually use this theme a lot. So I'll be using that. The Dragon's Talon. Which is from Darkmoor. So I think I've been. Have I been saying where everything's from? This is crafted. And these are from uh, Imperia. You just have to farm like Secret Tunnel or something. To get the Cabal's gear. And then everyone knows where that's from. So moving on. We've got the new amulet that I was farming for on stream last Saturday. And that was the Fly Gobs Medallion. This is from Shane. Uh, the death version of Shane in the second the upper hall second area of darkmore and i need this because this is one of the best if not the best amulet for pvp uh, for storm gives four percent pierce four percent on the resist i mean just compare it to this gives a little more pierce and also more resist so, I mean, it's just good it's good and it gives you two square sockets so to complete this set i want to put instead of that plus 52 storm resist or storm uh damage reduction i want to put a, another stun resist that would be good so that's my goal is to get that 
and then the ring I'm using this is the only actual PvP you know arena ticket item I'm using and that's the ring dual stair devil ring for level 100 I feel like the rings and this everyone has the same feeling the rings get worse as you go past level 100 so I just use level 100 it has really good stats pierce too and you can socket another pierce and that last square socket there that I have the storm damage reduction jewel I want to put another stun resist that's my goal is to get all the stun resist so then that would add 10% more and I would have 25% that's what I'm trying to do unfortunately I missed the pack palooza for going for jewels but maybe someday uh, the pet everyone knows the pet that is my triple double for storm with the strength jewel for ultra so that just helps me to get a lot more damage and resist I mean both things that you want so and then we got the Gulcher and the Rasputin deck. So, pretty good. I mean, that's basically what I'm going for right now. I'm glad I tried out the stats with the Cabal's hat because it's actually insane to think that I could go into quick match with 162 damage and like 39 armor piercing. Even the stun resist is going to be good because people always stun in quick match. So, if I could resist a stun for one round, you're going to be set. 9% Shadow Pip. Like, <laughs> Shadow Pip in Quick Match is even better than the normal tournaments. So, yeah, I'm kind of looking forward to that. Maybe we'll do a Quick Match sometime. But I also need to get this this stitch because this is this is not going to work. That, that is not, yeah. We're not going to be rocking that hat. We're going to be rocking that hat, but not that stitch. So, I think that's it. I mean, that's the Storm stats where I'm at right now. And uh, I'm pretty proud of it. The Cabal's gear just pushes Storm, like, so far ahead with this... The damage and just everything i mean it's crazy i don't know what's gonna happen at 130 are we gonna be having people with like 200 damage i don't know at least like 180 damage if they continue to up the damage it's just gonna be crazy i don't know what's gonna happen is there gonna be a day when we get 200 damage on a storm like i can't believe it that's, that's just gonna be like, <laughs> i i, I want to say game breaking but the game's already to that point where it's game breaking so yeah 162 damage in a quick match it's gonna be fun but look forward to that sometime i don't know when just whenever I feel like doing it. Um, probably once I get the jewels. Because I want to get those two stun resist jewels. And uh, then we'll be set. So I think that's going to do it. That is it for the stats. I'm going to switch back to my normal hat. Uh, for now. But do I even have any more goat horns? I feel like I might have them somewhere. I'll have to look around. But yeah, I'll probably stitch that. Because I didn't realize how good the Cabal's hat was. I knew the boots were good. But yeah, both Cabal's gear is super good. So farm for that if you haven't. But that is it. Not going to draw this video anymore. If you guys enjoyed this, if it was helpful, leave a like on it. Subscribe for more. Subscribe so you know when that PvP goes up sometime a little later. We'll do some tournaments. It'll be fun. So thanks for watching again. I'll see you guys next time.